Hey Art Snackers, my name is Roxanne, I'm a mixed media artist and illustrator, and this is the Art Snacks Box Breakdown. So welcome to the box breakdown where we take a closer look and explore some techniques using the supplies found in the most recent art snacks box. Now when I opened up the June box, I could already kind of see how some of these supplies might be used together, like the General's chalk pastel pencils and the Tombow brush pens. Kind of looking at those items, I immediately thought of the quick sketch. So kind of sticking with that theme, I decided to get myself outside, as the menu suggests this month, uh, and do some drawing from real life. Now I'm not an outdoorsy kind of gal, I just don't really like sun and all that, but getting yourself outside and drawing from real life is an important exercise to do from time to time. Drawing like this, sort of very loosely and fast in a sketchbook, is an important thing to do. It's a great way to play with some materials, as well as filling up some pages in your sketchbook and just honing in on some of those basic drawing skills. So, that being said, I dragged my pugs out with me and set myself up outside with my sketchbook and the Art Snacks box for June and got to drawing some of the plants that were found on my deck. Now looking at the two pages I'm gonna be working in here, you can see right away that I've kind of added in some extra paper and some artist tape. This is something that I like to do from time to time in my sketchbook as it just helps to break up the space and kind of set the tone that this is like a practice area. Quick drawing and quick sketching is not about a finished piece of artwork, okay? So it's not some masterpiece, it's not some baller illustration, okay? It's about allowing yourself to just practice and quickly get things down into your sketchbook. Dark or toned paper is especially appropriate for this month's box and you're gonna see why in a moment. Now let's first talk about these General's chalk pencils. If you're like me and you're sort of a texture person, nothing will make you cringe faster than the thought of holding like chalk pastel in your fingers. And it actually like makes me cringe at this very moment. But these pencils immediately remove the cringe factor because well, it's a pencil. So the chalk is encased in wood, so you're not gonna be kind of just grabbing on straight to a piece of chalk pastel, but they work very much the same. So you can kind of blend with them, you can just chuck into your pencil bag and not worry about it getting all over the place. It's also great for quick sketching. So this is one of those things where you can just bust it out and immediately start to lightly draw lines or lightly sketch what it is that you're referencing from real life. As you can see here, I'm using the chalk pencils as a way to just kind of loosen up and get some light lines down onto my page. Now here's where that toned paper also comes into play because these are very highly pigmented. So because they are and it's a chalk pastel, you're gonna be able to write on top of dark surfaces or toned paper and be able to see your lines. So it's another really fun way to experiment with the material but also just play with different surfaces. So now that I have some really rough sketches down onto my pages, I can kind of start to refine those up now with these Tombow dual brush pens. These guys are so versatile, it is not even funny. And you're gonna see me come back to these quite a bit while working in my sketchbook here. Typically, I like to start off with the fine tip of these pens and kind of just do some outlining. From there, I can switch to the brush tip and create sort of bolder lines if I want to or even do a little bit of shading. The brush nib on these are really great because they're firm enough that you can continue getting detail lines if you want to or just gently press to get that thicker line. Now I'll be coming back to those brush pens in a moment, but let's talk about this paint marker, which Zig adorably named Painty FX. So cute. This thing will write on pretty much anything. We're talking wood, glass, all sorts of stuff. But in my sketchbook, I like to put it on those dark or toned paper again. So I am using this to kind of just create some pop on top of my chalk sketch lines. Coming back to those Tombow pens, they are water soluble, which means that you can create a watercolor-like effect. You can either use a wet paintbrush or a water brush, which you see me using here, which I picked up from the Art Snack Shop. Yeah. Having a water brush pen is a great way to kind of have water with you um, and in your pen bag without schlepping a cup of water and legit paintbrushes. 
So using my water brush pen, I'm going right over the lines that I've already put down into my sketchbook uh, to basically fan out or kind of bleed out the pigment just using water. Another way to go is you can use the marker on some wax paper, kind of scribble it in there so that you're kind of getting some of the pigment down and then add some water to it from there. Once you've added water, you can apply it straight on like a traditional watercolor, either using your brush pen or a paintbrush. You can also blend colors together like I did here. So you see me using the red and the blue that I got in my box and creating this gorgeous purple. From here, you see me just kind of jam packing my pages with more stuff, which is just kind of how I am anyways with my sketchbooks. I like to just fill it with doodles and lines and all sorts of crazy stuff. So I'm outlining with the Tombows, adding doodle lines, lifting up my artist tape, throwing in my art snack sticker, and adding in some notes and scribbles. Now let's not forget about that mini sketchbook, which is a killer collab between Art Snacks and Danique. This little guy is so great because it lays flat. So when you open it up, you can totally just lay it flat somewhere and straight up do some drawing. Or you can kind of do what I'm doing here is just kind of making some lists of kind of places where I want to go outside and continue doing some drawing. This is a great thing, again, to either throw into your pen bag and take it with you somewhere. Or if you have a pocket in your sketchbook, you can tuck it away inside there. All right, so there you have it guys, the June Art Snacks box. Now don't forget to follow Art Snacks on social media. You can follow them on Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. This has been the Art Snacks box breakdown, and I'll see you guys next month. Bye.